good morning, YTPC. Hope everybody's having a fantastic holiday season. We ain't got but a couple days left till the big day. But uh, I did promise a couple of you that I would be opening this tin of velvet from the 40s or 50s that I won from LA Pipe Smoker. So I wanted to do that while I had some time to do it. But as you can see, still sealed. I'm gonna bust that open and try it. Haven't tried velvet before. So I'm pretty, pretty interested in checking it out. So without further ado, here we go. To be honest with you, I've never even opened one of these tins before, so. Hopefully I can do it without much, much trouble. Definitely tell this stuff's been on here a little while. Oh wow. It's definitely got a, a uh, kind of a musty smell. Money. Money saving offer. All right. this whole thing out but that's pretty neat it's got the whole this velvet wrapper is good for any velvet money saving offer special money saving offer just for velvet smokers pay half price for famous preferred purex pipes only a dollar and four velvet wrappers i wonder if that's still good i wonder if that's still a good offer let <laughs> check that out all right yeah I don't know if you can see this. Here, I'll dump some out of this tree. He's pretty dry. Well, no, actually, when you get down in there, it's still fairly moist. That's, that's plenty for a bowl. I'll probably jar that up later and actually pull that up. Uh, add out and read it and see what all it says but okay there's what she looks like looks similar to uh like a, a prince albert or something like that some of the other over-the-counter blends hmm. doesn't really smell like anything I'm only smelling my leather tray, really. <laughs> but it's definitely got some age on it, so I don't know, it may not have much flavor at all. I'm gonna be smoking it in this. This is the collaboration Moonshine Pipes did with Missouri Meerschaum, their blackout stoker cob that was available at the uh, Mule Town Pipe Show, which I think they've they did another release on their website. I think those are sold out, but they've got some more coming in after the first of the year. But it's a, it's a pretty cool little cop. Get this loaded up and we'll fire it up, check it out. I said it looks fairly, fairly dry, so it may to make it through this bowl pretty quick. It's pretty small pieces. Had a couple. <laughs> had a couple come through the stem. All right. Here we go.
suckers stay lit up to the first light. Similar to Prince Albert, but I think Prince Albert may have some kind of added flavoring or something to it. This is just this is just like a basic early taste. Nothing, nothing else really in there that I'm picking up. Bit of I don't know what it, what a new tin would taste like. It says Kentucky Burley, made from the best sun ripened Kentucky Burley tobacco, aged to mellow perfection in nature's slow but sure way. So this sucker's been aging to mellow perfection for a while. So mellow that it may not even. may not even taste like what it's supposed to taste like, but I'm enjoying this taste, actually. I was ex kind of expecting it to be so dry that it just all went up in flames at one time and had no flavor at all, but I can see this. I can see this being a good morning smoke for the cup of coffee. I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, so I definitely wanted to get that video out. I've been saying that I was going to do it. So I uh, had some time this morning. I'm going to take the girls to see Santa. Hopefully have breakfast with Santa here in a little while. So I'll get off of here and get them ready to go to that after I finish this. But uh, appreciate you watching. Hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you, LA Pipe Smoker, for sending it to me. And uh, maybe in a video a little later on, after I get this jarred up, I'll spread this uh, spread this ad out and we'll look at it and see what it says. But uh, again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, if I don't see you before the new year, I'll see you after the new year. Have a good day.